Power 93.7, WBLK, the People Station. You know the steal. If you don't know, now you know. Your boy still about money. Plugging you into the 716 Spotlight, brought to you by Easy Loan Auto Sales. And I got a special guest in the building with me today. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? This is AI the Anomaly 716, Queen City, Nickel City, stand up. Woo, woo. Let's I go. Felt like, I felt like I should ring a bell. <laughs> I felt like I should ring a bell. Um, I had you um, introduce yourself because um, I can't read and I didn't want to mess up your name. That's the reason. I didn't want to start our bonding off on that note. <laughs> So I'm glad you did that for me. Right. Now, for those people that may be living under a rock, you're a mm-hmm. Christian hip hop artist right. who just signed to one of the largest uh, Christian record labels, right? Yep. In the country? In the genre, yep. You, you're not saying it with your chest. Yep. Not That's right, say it with your chest. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So God Over Money is one of the premier Christian hip hop labels Yep, in the country. So let's dive into who AI is. Uh, why don't you break down what AI. AI means? So AI stands for all in. Everything that I do, um, I try to give my all. I try to put everything into it because I think it's important. We got mm-hmm. one life to live. You got birth, you got death, and you got the Fair. dash in between. I'm trying to give it my all in between Fair. that. So um, that's, that's what the name represents. The anomaly is... The deviation from the rule. So growing mm-hmm. up, I was told I would be a failure to thrive um, mm. because of my mother's addiction to drugs. Um, and I was told that I was uh, emotionally handicapped. So mm. the thought was that I wasn't going to be able to do certain things achieve in life, greatness. achieve greatness because of what I was, uh, the circumstance that I was dealt. Me, my sister, and my brother were put in foster care. My mother died when I was three from an overdose. Oh, my condolences. So thank you. So, um, through life, you know, ups and downs. It was real tough growing up. That's a whole nother story. But um, I'm, I made choices and decisions that weren't great. But I deviated from the rule of mm-hmm. failure to thrive. Ooh, you better due talk to my it. faith, due to the arts. That's why I, I go hard when it comes to teaching youth about the arts. Um, it's very important because music, f- photography, film, um, all of those things helped me. And it helped me deviate from this this label of failure to thrive. So when did that get introduced into your life to become help for you and become like therapy, so to speak, for your life? So when I was about six or so, um, I had to go to counseling. When we were younger, we had to go to counseling Mm -hmm. because of the traumatic issues and childhood trauma and things like that. Um, And one of the counselors was really trying to get through to me, but because I had a hard time expressing myself, um, she couldn't get there. So what she thought was, would be a great option was to give me a piece of paper and a pen. And she so she told me to write down my feelings. And she told me that I can create stories and talk about my feelings through the stories. So that's where I began to have this passion for writing. At the age of six. Six. I love writing. Well, I was drawing. <laughs> you know, it wasn't novels. <laughs> Still but, write better but than it was, me though, I bet. It was fun. You know, mm. it was fun. Like I was writing. Then that developed into stories, different characters that I hid behind. Um, I gave them different names, but these emotions were mine. The same story. Yeah, same exactly. Feelings. And then uh, that turned into music, you know, and poetry, listening to hip hop and trying to, you know, trying to rap like them or what have you. And that just developed into into this thing that we have today, you know. So when did it get real for you that I can actually do this at, at a high level? Were you still young when you realized that? Um, I say I, young like you old. I'm sorry, just you know, <laughs> like she, she got a baby face. Obviously, you're not old, but well, in your younger days, right, I right. Younger days. I like writing in 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 music, hip hop was really my safe haven. It's one of my safe havens. I never really looked at it like, um, like yeah, I'm gonna do this for the rest of my life. It was just like, man, I spit. It felt good and. I went with it. It was my way of expression. It was the easiest way for me to express myself. Um, yeah, when I was younger, I did have a big ego. I was like, yeah, I'm sweet. Remember <laughs> Elm- Elmwood Lounge, uh-huh. Rendezvous? I was young in them spaces, rapping Spin. with older people. Like, we used to do the battle rap. I used to kill these dudes. So you wasn't always um, speaking for the cloth, so to speak. You Absolutely to, not. Okay, Absolutely okay. not. No, no. I was a sinner, and I enjoyed being a sinner <laughs> at that time. I'm going to be real with you. Um, it was easy, and it felt great to um, do what I wanted to do. Um, and, and to be honest, underneath all of that, I knew I was deteriorating. Mm-hmm. I knew my soul was deteriorating. I grew up in a church. My adopt, I, we were adopted when we, when I was seven. Um, my adoptive mother was our foster mother. Okay. So she, um, wind up adopting us. Uh, and we grew up in a church. We we're in church every day. <laughs> I love God and all of that, but dang, every day, every day. But, um, I, I love God. Um, and I desired to please him, but I felt at a certain point that 
He's unpleasable. Like I can't be perfect. Now, what age was this? Where you, where you kind of felt? I was like in that? my teens. Okay. Um, I I got a taste of high school, and I looked around, and everybody seemed to be having a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. I went into high school real holy, like. Yeah. Like most people do. Yeah, like, <laughs> like yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be a missionary. Yeah. But um, really quickly, I I was like, man, everybody, they're having a great time. And um, I can't be perfect, so I'm going to choose to do whatever. I, I made a conscious decision to do whatever I wanted to do. So what helped you get back on the right track? What was it? Um, I was really in a dark place. And I knew I was. And it felt dark and dingy and nasty. Are we still in high school right now? I was I was out of high school. Okay. Getting into college. And um I knew my life was a mess. I was in the street. I was doing stuff that I, I'm not proud of. I don't even like repeating or talking about it. But when I, I got pregnant, because I was fooling around. <laughs> so I got pregnant. And when I got pregnant and it hit me that I was going to be I was going to have a dependent. Mm. I knew that I needed to switch my life because where I was in the place that I was at, I wasn't going to be the mom that I needed. Um, I didn't want to repeat the same cycle either. I wanted to be, I wanted to be a good mom. Yeah. I wanted to be a good mom, which then turned into, I just want to be good period. And I knew that the only way in order to do that, I went back to what my roots were. Christ. Won't he so, do it? Won't he do it? So you were doing music this whole time throughout this journey, right? Throughout this journey, I was doing music. When I uh, accepted Christ, when I t- uh, decided to submit my life to Christ, I thought that I couldn't rap, rap anymore. anymore because the Christian hip hop music that I heard wasn't good to me. Mm-hmm. I'm just be real. It just wasn't. Um, it wasn't sweet. And did the church people accept it? I know sometimes I'm, I'm no, raised in the church too. Some people I was raised with, they just yeah, want them to accept right, a certain right. type of sounds, you know? It definitely really, it wasn't accepted, but I wasn't accepting it in a sense of like, yo, y'all need to step it up. Mm-hmm. From where I come from, where we like, yo, we, we about to rap, we about to get it down, we about to do yeah. what we need to do. And I also felt like because of how I rapped and what I was dealing with and what I was doing prior to um that this new lifestyle i felt like like i can't go hard like that (laughs) i can't rap like that i can't rap without saying this this and that so i just kind of had to put it on a back shelf but because music is so part of me every once in a while i would like write something Mm -hmm. then i got on to these like christian hip-hop artists that were amazing to me like the truth uh ambassador stephen a levite then i started to realize yo they're unapologetically Christian, Facts. and their bars are dope. They're the- theological, and I'm learning something, and um, they sound dope. And a pro- production is sweet, content, A1. cadence. A1. Everything that I cared about as far as lyricism and hip-hop, I felt like they had, and they had a passion and a message. And so I said, okay, well, I'll pick the pen back up, and I'll really try to get into this. And um, I've been doing that ever since. Now, one thing I can say um, about your music is it is powerful. Like even your visuals, appreciate it. Caught a couple of your videos on YouTube. Appreciate uh, it. Free plug, YouTube. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like the, I'm a fan of storytelling. I, I'm a fan of that's what got uh, me emotional excited. music. Like, right, I, I right. should I should feel something other than want to go get drunk and pop a pill. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, and I love the fact that your music dives into that. Now, do you pull it. back from your pain into mm-hmm. you and put that in the music? Because it feels like you do. You know, I, yeah. it feels like you opening your, your soul up yeah. with some of this stuff. Yeah, I mean, how I was when I was dipping in the street, I gave it, I gave it my all, and that's why AI, like, I'm going to go all in. That's the decision I made when I was doing what I was doing on that side. I was going all in. Whoever I was, whatever I was doing, I was talking about it. Mm-hmm. I was being real. Mm-hmm. And so now, flip side, this is my life. This is me being real. So, um, like, my the first project that I put out, the official project, because prior to that I had a mixtape, was uh, Severed Threads. And I, like, laid it all out about losing my mother. Everything. Everything. And it was great for me because I never faced the fact that I lost my mother. All growing up. At such a young age. All growing up. We never mourned our mother. We never took the time to say, man, I I lost my mom. And how does that feel to me? So Severed Threads was me asking her questions like, why? Why you choose drugs? Instead of me, it, I asked her questions. I answered questions for her. I coped. 
I forgave her. Um, I told her I loved her. Uh, I dealt with those emotions and those issues on that project. Mm -hmm. And then from there, like the project that I just put out now is called Blank Canvas. It's like that next step. Like I was able to pour it all out. Not to say I'm over it. I'm still coping. You know, I'm still coping with the what loss. What you accepted. Yeah, it. but I but I know how I'm free. Mm -hmm. No I'm longer free burdens now. you in your everyday yeah. life. And now I know how to use it. That's my pain. Mm -hmm. All of that pain, those emotions, those issues, the trauma, all of those experiences. Is the that's color to my your art now. now. Exactly. So then you got blank canvas. And blank canvas is a space in which I can paint these pictures on, on every beat. The way I look at instrumentals or beats, it's a canvas. And every song is my opportunity to lay my pain out. You now, where can saying? people get uh, Blank Canvas from? It's on all of the um, digital streaming platforms, iTunes, YouTube, Google Play, anywhere, you know, that they have music. Now, does that have my song on it, God Over Money? That, that's my jam. <laughs> the East Side it's, track. Yeah, it's the East Side well, track. The East Side track was like my uh, introduction to um, God Over Money. Okay. So, honestly, it was supposed to be the last track on Blank Canvas. Uh, if you uh, listen to the lyrics, it makes sense. Watch the canvas get splattered. I scribe lines with the truth. Paint yeah. portraits like Frida Kahlo. I bond bars with the glue. So, it's all like you spit artistic. That. I'm, I'm not just going to let you spit that <laughs> nice like that. That like, dang, just happened. Did y'all hear that? Just going to go back in a regular conversation. You can't be doing that to people. All right. All right. My bad. My bad. Go no, no. You good. <laughs> so, it's supposed to be the last track, but I decided, you know, it would be a great um, opportunity to... Introduce myself to, to others who haven't heard of me. And yo, with my introduction, because I, I'm at, I am 716 at the heart, because mm -hmm. this is where I come from. This is um, where I've had so many different experiences, that, especially the east side of Buffalo. And they call it rugged, rough, ugly, dirty, all of these things. But it's beautiful, too. It's what cultivated me. Right. It's what gave me arts. Remember Langston Hughes? Mm -hmm. Remember the Parent Center? Mm -hmm. All of those things have, have helped me. Sipa Gallery, Squeaky Wheel, um, Yo Buffalo. All of these places have really helped me, and that was all on the east side. So it was, it was my passion to make sure that me stepping into this new space y'all gotta know where i come gotta from gotta represent the whole i come time. from the east side of buffalo um and and i'm gonna represent until until god come back you better talk that talk you know all right what I'm so we're gonna highlight you for two weeks to show our appreciation appreciate for it. you doing what you doing doing Absolutely. that at such a high level and that's the track we highlight in east side i'm not hey. from the east side of buffalo but every time i hear it i feel what's like up? i am all right that's what's up. <laughs> yeah but you at least you from the east side I, I'm from our side, huh? Huh? See, I did that. I hey, sprinkled it on. all right, hey, all right. Again. I sprinkled it on. <laughs> <laughs> now tell people where they can find you on social media, uh, your IG, your absolutely, Facebook, all that Absolutely, absolutely. So AI the Anomaly, AI the A N O M A L Y. Um, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and um. Yeah, I think those are the, the main platforms that I'm on. You can go to Bands in Town to see mm. where I'm going to be at next. I actually got a show this Thursday. There's a it's a blank canvas paint party. That's dope. Um, paint and release party, so you can come paint. You can get a ticket to do painting, and that's with the local artist Jarrell Adams. You know he doing his thing, paint yeah, the town so. right on Allen. Um, so we're doing a paint party right after. It's a free release party. Whoever want to come and uh, just. I just want to celebrate with y'all before I go on this tour <laughs> with God Over Money. Which I'm starts hitting. when? When does the that tour start? start? The tour started already, and I'm picking up on the East Coast. Okay. So we're going to be, um, I'm jumping into Kansas City, and then Chicago, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Baltimore, those, those spots. Prior to that, I'm going to be in Ohio. Um, but before I hit the road, I was like, well, I got to do something here for the town. So I really want people to come out. If you can't make it or you can't do the paint party, that's fine. That's just an artistic thing I wanted to do. Um, please, the release party is free. Come to free. paint the town at 730 on Thursday. Um, the paint party is at six. Um, the proceeds, uh, part of the proceeds is going to benefit uh, movement that I started under my business, Get Focus Productions. I have a movement called Young in Focus where I highlight young people who are self-motivated. So it's going to just support the young people and um, help me continuously invest in the next generation of creatives. I'm so hyped and glad I was able to meet you today. Um, thank up. you for finding some time to come up here. Absolutely. And talk to us common folk, man. Oh, I feel please. like your future is so bright and I feel like it's Appreciate so dope it. that you are you. 
Thank and you. unapologetically you. Absolutely. And I want everyone else to soak that up and just be you because <laughs> we can't be somebody else. No. And, and even if we try, we can only be a, such a percentage of somebody else when you could be 100% you. And nobody right. can be 100% you but you. So that's yeah. super dope. So I'm excited for you. All right, two weeks. It's all about you, all right? Front I page of the app, front page of the website. I really uh, appreciate that, man. What's in store about money? My last two cents before we get out of here. Chase the dream, not the money. Dope. Dream it, believe it, put God first and achieve it. You know the still. Mama, I'm on the radio.